the country's total earnings from export declined marginally to 9.6 billion cities ending August this year. Now, that's when you compare to what you secured in the same period for last year. But should we be worried about this development because of its impact on the city, as we've just discussed with George Riafi? Well, he has details in this report. Earnings dropped from $10.5 billion in August 2019 to $9.6 billion and in August this year. Now let's break down these earnings. Well, gold us at the end of August brought in $4.3 billion, slightly higher than what we got in August last year. Well, we earned $1.7 billion from cocoa for this year. However, the decline from crude oil was quite significant as it dropped by $3 billion in 2019 to $1.5 billion this year. However, for some, the expected impact of this development on the Ghana City and International Reserves are mixed. Now, if earnings continue to decline compared to what we realized for last year, then that will impact negatively on the country's international reserves and our ability to support the Ghana City and finance our imports. However, other analysts have argued that since crude oil earnings was one of the major reasons for the decline and with economies now opening up following the ability to manage COVID-19 spread as well as gold prices picking up strongly, we may end the year getting more than the $15.6 billion realized for last year. In terms of imports, we spent $8.3 billion in financing our needs resulting in a trade balance of $1.3 billion while the gross international reserves stood at $8.5 billion ending August this year, representing four weeks of import cover.